Hi and welcome to another episode of Reaper TV. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you through step by step how to create a custom drum kit layout in Easy Drummer 2 from ToonTrack. We're also going to take that one step further where we're going to create a custom layout in Reaper itself, which means that we want to call this back up, we can do it very quickly and easily and have everything ready in our new tracks within a couple of seconds and a couple of mouse clicks. So let's take a look at how we can do all of that right now. Okay, so to kick this video off, let's start off by adding an instance of Easy Drummer into Reaper. And all we're going to do is come over to the effects browser, choose Easy Drummer, drop that onto the track, and then it's going to ask us if we're going to want to sort of set this up into a multi-track version, and we'll say yes, we do. So that sets up our multi-track instance of Easy Drummer. So as you can see, I've got the normal Easy Drummer 2 Modern Drum Kit available, and nothing has changed on there. It's exactly as you'd expect it to be, everything laid out as normal. But if you look at every single element we have on here, you'll see there's a little drop down arrow. And what that allows us to do is that allows us to open up the instrument picker section and we can fine tune different aspects of this particular piece of the kit. But we can also load in alternatives. We can also load in a completely different drum kit setup. So let's take a look at that first and then we'll start taking a look at how we can use a blank template and build our own drum kit up from there. So if I click on the hi-hat for example, You'll see at the moment I've got none, 14 inch Sabian, or I can have the 14 inch paste. I can choose from the ones that are actually are part of this specific drum setup. Now, obviously, if we're using a different drum kit, you're going to have different options in here, and it depends on the easy X's you have installed. But let's just use this one because everyone's going to have this to start off with. So, what I can do if I want is I can easily choose to have different sets of hi hats to be used on there, or alternatively, I can have none. And I can also adjust the volume and the pitch of that specific element in our drum kit. So if I want to fine tune this, I can do that quite easily just by using the pitch correction. And that allows me to change the pitch. I can make it higher or lower quite easily by using that. So we can fine tune the actual instrument or the, the element itself, as well as choose different alternatives. If we want to audition that, we've got the section by here, which if we click it on the left hand side, gives us the quieter version right the way up to the right hand side, gives us the full velocity. So that's all pretty self-explanatory. We can also expand out the details and you can see we have a whole range of different articulations in here. So we're not limited to just having the hi-hat. We've got closed edge, closed tip, we've got open and various versions of the open. And again, this is specific to the individual kit or Easy X that you load in. So these are going to be different. You may see different ones to what we've got on screen in front of us. So that allows us to do various different things. We can fine tune, we can audition, and we can test samples out. But what I'm interested in is the kit section to start off with. And if I expand on that, you can see we've got a range of different kits as well as some other options. So at the moment we are using, I think it's the default DW, but we also got a Gretsch USA Custom and a Yamaha 9000. So if I choose the Gretsch, for example, you'll see the kit now changes. Some of the toms are grayed out because they're not part of this kit. So if we hit either of these toms, we get the middle tom. So it doesn't matter which one we hit on there. It's just going to give us the same thing. And um, with the symbols, we've got a certain set of symbols being loaded in and hi-hats and so on. So we've got a starting point. Now, if I wanted to, like I say, I could easily come into any of these and I could change them out for anything else that's in this kit. So let's not worry about that. Let's come back down to kits, close details, come back down to kits, and let's go to empty kit. And what that does is that gives us a completely blank starting point. So we can now build our drum kit up based upon this layout. So we've got your five toms, your snare, your kick, and a set of cymbals and a ride and hi-hat. So we can now build this up and we can just create exact a custom kit, you know, something completely customized. So you can see that if we come up to the hi-hats, I got all the options I said earlier on. And the same if I go to the toms, I can come to that. And you can see I've got rack tom options. And if I wanted to, I could get a bit weird and I could actually have Rack Tom 3 set on Rack Tom 1. It doesn't really matter. It would be a bit silly to do it that way, but you can do it. But you can also mix and match between those kits that are available, all those different drum sets. You can see we've got the Collector's Edition, the Gretsch USA Yamaha 9000, and everything is broken down where applicable into those groups under their floor tom and toms and so on. So you could mix and match if you like the sound of two floor toms from one kit and you like the sound of the, the normal mounted toms on another kit, you could easily use those in combinations to get an exact kit that you want. Then if you want, you could fine tune the pitch of those individual elements, which is pretty cool. 
But we also have an extra option. You can see at the top it says Easy Drummer 2 and we've got Modern, which is the kit that we see in front of us. But I'm not limited to choosing from only this kit. I can easily come in and choose any of the Easy X's that I previously installed into Easy Drummer 2 and I can build my kit up from there. So I might have a kick drum that I like on one Easy X and I like toms from another and floor toms from a third one. And the same with the cymbals. I can easily build up an entire drum kit based upon the Easy X's that I have installed. So if I click on this, you see I've got a range of different kits already installed in there. So I could come down if I wanted to and I could say I want the Easy Drummer 2 Vintage or Made of Metal. So if I click on that, you now see I've got a completely different range of elements that I can pull in. So I can easily use anything from Made of Metal for the Rack Tom 1, 2 and 3 and the Floor Toms providing they are part of the Easy X. You find certain Easy Xs won't have the same number of drum options as this particular kit does. And we're not limited to doing this just inside the standard Easy Drummer 2 Modern kit. We can use those from any other kit or any other kit we've got in here. So for example, if I come up and I choose a different preset, so let's just go and choose Metal, for example, and we'll pull the basic option in. That will go through, load that in, and you can see we now have a whole range more symbols that we can add in there. So we have more blocks that we can drop these different elements into. Two kick drums, the same amount of toms, and the snare, and so on. So that nothing changed there. And if I come through and I choose Rock Solid, for example, and we'll go for Punchy. Doesn't really matter which one because we're effectively just loading the kit in. You can see now I've just got four toms as opposed to the five, and we've got a smaller selection of cymbals and only one kick drum. But all those options are still available to me. I can still come in and I can choose anything I want from this kit. And if I come to kits, you can see I've also got six or seven different kits available to us in there. So I could again come to empty kit and I can start off with this layout. So if you want to give yourself the most options because you're dealing with something that's going to use a lot of drums, then if you use any of the Easy X's that you have installed or purchased that have a lot of options in there, so for example, Metal Machine has quite a big selection, we could easily use that and we could then come in and we could set up our own kit from there. So we come down to kit, again, you can see we've got a range of different options. Click on custom kit or empty kit and we can now start building this drum kit up ourselves. It's really, really cool. Okay, so let's keep this simple. Let's go back to the original Easy Drummer Modern kit. And we'll load that back in. That gives us a good starting point because then I know everybody's got this kit. And we'll just come down and we'll say go to kits and we'll choose the empty kit option. So now we can start building up the kit in the way that we want it to be built up. So we can choose the hi-hats, the drums and everything for ourselves. So with that in mind, let's now start building up a kit. Now, I'm not going to spend too much time on what I'm doing with this. I just want to show you how easy it is to do it. And then we can move on to how we can do everything inside Easy sorry, inside Reaper itself. So don't take this as being a good example. This is just me building it up from scratch. So let's say we want the paste 12 inch. That's fine. Yeah, we'll go with that. So we'll say that's what we want for the hi-hats. Then we come at the snare and you can see we've got a whole range of different snares available to us inside this particular kit. And by clicking on any of these, we audition it. So if I click, I can test it out. I can see what it sounds like. So you can see it's very quick and easy to build that up. So let's go for the chrome of aluminium. Yeah, that'll do. I'm not really bothered. The kick drum, let's come down to that. And we're going to go with, yeah, that sounds pretty good. And for the ride, I quite like the paste, yeah, that's quite nice. And for the toms, I'm already going to bother with the, the two larger toms, I'm going to bother the small ones, so let's come out of that, and I'm going to go for the Yamaha kit on there. And then we go with the floor toms, and we'll choose the DW, which have a bit more room to a bit more boom. So we've got... Choose a couple of crash symbols, and let me go for that. Are we too bothered? And we go for the last one. Let's go for something. What we got? Yeah, that'll do. So you can see we can quickly and easy build our kits up. Now we can save that out as a preset. So if I come back into my kit section, so just choose any of these elements, come down to kits. 
you see we have a little asterisk with the side of it that now tells us we've either modified a kit or we've created a new kit. So all we can do is we can come down and we can say save as and we can give this a name. So we're just going to call this one Reaper TV Sample Kit. So what I need to do, click OK. Now anytime we want to call that back up, if we come into kits, you can see we've got user kits and the kit that I've got available is in there. So if I just go and choose a different kit to start off with, that'll load that one back in. And if I come to the kits and I choose use user kits and we choose the Reaper sample one, you can see there's our kit loaded back in. Very quick and easy. So we've now created that entire kit. Now the other thing we can do at this point is we can come into the mixer, for example, and we can adjust the dynamics and everything on here so we can get the kit to sound the way that we want it to. If we didn't want to have reverb, we can turn that completely off and then we can control that independently inside our door itself. Okay, so I've now gone through and I've named all the relevant tracks for my drum set. We've created our custom kit. We've set up a multi-track instance in our door and I've routed everything out to a multi-channel. So what I would tend to do now is I would go back and I would take out the things that I don't need, like the one shot, the shaker and tambourine and so on. And I would then route out the toms to be each one on its own individual track and label accordingly. Now I've already done that in a different video. Like I say, I'll link that in the description below. But for this example, we've done everything we need now. So the last thing to do is just go in and save this out as a template. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all these tracks for the drum set. So with everything selected, I'm just going to come over to any of the tracks and I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose the option that allows me to go and save the track as a template. So once I come into that and click on there, it allows me to choose a name for this. So we're going to call this custom drum setup. And all I need to do is you can see we've got the option to say include track items in template and include envelopes in template. Well, we don't want to do either of those because there's nothing on there. And if we did have something on there, it would save that out. And every time we loaded it in, that MIDI would also be loaded in with it. So for this example, we don't need that. So I'm going to leave those unchecked and just click on save. And that now gives me that entire track setup with all of the effects and everything in place. So let's just delete all that. So we delete those tracks. And now to test that out, if I right click and we're just going to say insert track from template and you can see I now have custom drum setup and I just click on there and that will now go through and load everything in for me, all the different tracks and load in the in EC drummer and load in the instance of the drum set that we just created. So if I just open the effects up and we take a look in there, you'll see that if I come to the drums, we've now got our custom drum setup loaded in already. So that's a quick and easy way of being able to set up customized drum kits in Easy Drummer 2. Customize every element of it, save that out as a custom kit, and then we can come into, into Reaper and we can easily then set that up as a template that does all of the hard work for us. So every time we want to call that entire setup back up, you can see yourself a couple of clicks, a couple of seconds, just load it in and you've saved yourself a whole load of time by doing it that way. Well, I hope you found this video useful. I hope it's going to speed up your workflow. I hope it's shown you something that you didn't know about using Easy Drummer 2. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all the new content we add. If you want more content, including our 30 free tips PDF, pop over to reapertv.co.uk forward slash subscribe. Pop your email address in there and we'll send you a free copy of that PDF with some great tips and tricks on getting the most out of Reaper. Well, until next time, happy mixing.